Hey you lot, so we're going to be doing some Blue Mage Nidhogg Extreme uh, without Echo. Um, this isn't scripted or anything, I'm just going to be doing a bit of a live uh, commentary over this. I'm not exactly sure which clip of this I've got going here because I did a few of these, but we're going to take a look together and I might explain a couple things here and there, especially with the, uh, the, uh, the fang and nail or whatever the fuck it's called a little bit later than the second phase but uh yeah we'll watch this together have a little bit of a chat and see where we end up right yeah so you'll see i, th I think i do it here um you'll see that i do the cold fog here and then another shield after the top so that as soon as he lands I've got that touch of frost ready to go and a nice fresh shield so I don't get smacked by the Scarlet Whisper too hard and yeah that kind of helps a lot when you're trying to push this next little bit here You can definitely pretty easily skip this part, but I'm kind of bitching out on using those heavier damage cooldowns for the next little bit, so... Yeah, you want to come over to this guy first, because he puts some nasty debuffs on you and you don't want him hanging around too long. Wait until the other one gets there, bait him into a little bit of a tight circle there and then just burn him. I think I fucked this one, actually. Okay, no, 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 never mind, I didn't, <laughs> okay. I thought that was one of the ones that I botched, and no, uh, it turns out it wasn't too bad. Yeah, that might, that one might take a little bit of practice getting used to, but it shouldn't be too terrible, it might just take you a couple of tries. So long as you burn them down quickly, it's not that big of a deal, but if you let them hang around too long, you get debuffs, and they both start to hit pretty damn hard. Okay, here you don't really use any of your big damage cooldowns just yet. You kind of just wait for because he has a set amount of things that he needs to do before he's going to spawn the uh, the nail things. So you just want to kind of hold on for now, mitigate some damage, just give him a little bit of a slap. Fuck, I'm using fire anger. I don't know what I'm doing there. But I don't know. You can use a uh, sonic boom or sharp knife or whatever. It. Yeah, so after after this he'll do a couple of more and then I he should spawn the nails. You want to start setting up your um your trident ready to go so you can just burn it straight away. Yeah, that's the one. Give it a good slap. Now so for this next bit you'll see the um the claw is casting the detonate right so what we need to do here is that this detonate no matter what you've got going on is going to hit 50,000 and obviously because we don't have echo we're only on like 40 44 43 or something like that so as it gets closer towards uh, detonating there you want to set up um, angel snack right put a big shield on set up angel snack and then use devour to bring your HP above 50 and then use your diamond back and you'll see when it hits you'll survive and you'll automatically start healing again so it's not going to be that big of a deal for when he does the big tank buster next Yeah, this part here is just a little bit of mitigation. Keep your shield up. Get ready with a big old palm cure as soon as that hits. Put your shield back on. And then get ready to heal up again. I think I did it too early here, actually. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Just take your time. Be patient with it. Don't freak out. It's not 
all that difficult. You've already survived the hardest part, in my opinion. There was one clip here where I tried to do the, um, the Night Bloom during this part, and he flew away just as I did it, so I missed the entire fucking thing. Absolutely horrendous. I'm not sure if it was this um, clip or not, actually. Nah, it wasn't, thankfully. Didn't go into TARD mode this time. Um, you don't want to do Cold Frost here, because you'll end up wasting it, because he's going to um, do the Arkmorn straight away. So just hold off on that for a little bit. And yeah, you'll definitely want to put a shield up and then diamond back. Um, just to mitigate as much as you can. I mean, you're going to survive it without the gulp skin anyway. But it just helps to mitigate it as much as possible. So you'll see these um, debuff stacks. Uh, they creep up to 8. And it's the same deal. They do, they're do. they not like the tooth and nail where they just hit that flat amount. It can be mitigated. So it helps to be above 50,000 by the t Try and use Devour by the time you're like, it's just gone over 7. You'll have, maybe not just over 7, but definitely before it hits 8. Get that max HP, put a big shield on for yourself. And uh, yeah, you'll survive. You don't need to use um, uh, Angel Snack for that, as, you, as I think you'll see here, unless I fuck it up. So there's your seven. Yeah, you devour. You're above your 50k. Refresh your shield. Keep that there, and you'll see it explode in a sec. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there will be a part where he does do. Um, <laughs> excuse me for getting hit by absolutely every single one of these. I've haven't done this mechanic properly since Heaven's Ward, so I don't remember shit. Um, there will be a spot where he does do Arc Morn while you're cruising up on eight of those debuff stacks. So you kind of need to handle that a little bit more carefully and use um, Angel Snack with it. And you'll see that here in a sec, I think, anyway. going on with me here. I've got the um, Ravana. Oh no, there we go. I was going to say it looks like I'm um, it looks like I'm just shitting myself there, not knowing what to do. <laughs> oh, all that happens when you're close to a clear and you're running out of time, so start to panic a little bit. It's alright. Yeah, so there you go. So you'll see that got the angel snack there healing us so yeah what we did was we used devour got that high hp put the shield on us use the angel snack and then did the diamond back because we knew that that bit of hate stack would hit us for that really high damage and if we didn't have that shield and that devour and that angel snack up um the arc Morn on top of it just would have killed us you might not have to deal with it if you do a bit more dps than i do but yeah. Anyway, that's Nidhogg Extreme without Echo. Uh, cheers.